A suspect in the fatal stabbing at the House of Mercy pleading not guilty to murder charges today. Eric Hedekost has been following this story for us, talking to multiple parties involved, and she joins us in the studio with the latest. Eric Hedda? Good afternoon. That's right. Nathaniel Jean-Pierre III faces charges for second-degree murder and attempted murder in the second degree. And prosecution tells us the jury will likely consider additional charges as well. To recap, this happened just before 11 p.m. on Sunday night. Police got reports of a stabbing at the shelter, and there they responded to a, quote, chaotic scene. A 68-year-old man stabbed to death and another severely injured, but is expected to survive. Police allege John Peer used a large sheath knife in the attack. In court today, we caught up with the Monroe County District Attorney's Office as well as a security worker at the shelter. One topic on the minds of many today, how someone could get in the shelter with a weapon like that. Staff tell us there is a metal detector at the entrance, but they say it's not always monitored. Obviously, we'll be uh, speaking to a lot of people, and specifically those people that do live there and work there and were there that evening. We're understaffed at nighttime. Day daytime is full of staff, but nighttime we barely have a lot of people. So that's where they need help at is at the nighttime shift. And coming up at 5 and 6, we'll go more in depth on the services being offered to staff working at this shelter. Services that offer trauma and grief support as this has been very emotionally heavy on everyone involved. You'll hear from the chief impact officer with United Way coming up. Uh, John, back to you. All right, Eric Hedda, thank you. A preliminary hearing is set for Friday at 11 a.m. Jean-Pierre is being held in jail with no bail, no release.